So what was going on? Were you on a plane? Some guy was hacking away behind you? Yeah, I mean, it's the life I, that I lead. And, and I don't know why I noticed these things, although my hair was like billowing uh, because this guy was horking right behind oh. me. Uh, it was horrendous. That's and, just disgusting. Well, look, I mean, it was it was two accountants or two lawyers because they were talking about this merger and that merger and all of that. So, I mean, the good thing was they were putting me to sleep with their conversation. <laughs> but I couldn't sleep. Because this poor guy, I mean, he was clear in his throat. He was gagging. He was I, snorting. He was horking. I, I mean, he did every everything but hurl on the back of my ugh. head. Um, so, anyway, I, 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 I always try and implicate Ray Ferraro in those scenarios. <laughs> because, I mean, who's kidding Ray who? I mean, punched Ray, him. I don't know. It, well, I, I mean, look, I mean, you know, Ray is, is one of the group of uh, the little ball of hate uh, categories, right? So, uh, anyway, I played the game on Twitter of uh, let's play the game. What would Ray do? I, I was surprised. I didn't get as much response out of that other than, you know, a, kind of a chide response from Ray. But that was about it. I once sat next to a guy who you could tell had a time because he just smelled like cigars, booze and puke. And you just oh. can't move. You are just stuck on that yeah. flight. It's so disgusting. The the best the best uh, flight story I've heard or I've seen, sorry, with uh, with TSN was ba way back in the day. Um, you know, we're probably pushing eight, nine, ten years ago. It's during the Stanley Cup final. James Duthie is against the window, and it's a long flight. I don't remember which series it was. But, I mean, he was pressed by a large human in that middle seat. I mean, this was a big dude, you know, 6'5", six, 6'7", six, probably 350, maybe bigger than that. And James got up out of his seat at the end of the flight. He was pale. He didn't know what to do. And the entire left side of his body was drenched in someone else's sweat. Oh. He was oh. wearing a gray T-shirt, and his entire left side was moist. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> I didn't know whether to laugh or cry. No, you keep shaking your head, Sully. Do you have, like, I mean, gross I, stories? Just, I'm one of those people who I will say something. I, oh, cannot yeah. sit, I can't sit there. I'm sure we could dedicate an entire show just to yeah. airplane experiences. Like people that take their shoes off? Yeah. yeah. That's like, no that good. is just, that is unacceptable. And they deserve, <laughs> they deserve to be, uh, like, we, you know, this whole thing now is not shaming people for things they do publicly. But, yeah. but airplane violations deserve yeah. the, all the public shaming so, that comes their way. So in, in the your, summertime, in your, oh, sorry. Karen. No, go ahead, Craig. In the, in the summertime, and I, I've seen this often, people take off their shoes bare feet and go yeah. into the washroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Come yeah. On. Oh, yeah. I've seen that. And it's no. like, oh, no. You just kind of oh. close your eyes and pretend you didn't see it. Oh. Yeah. And if you're lucky at the end of that, in two months, you've got a dozen planters warts. Oh, it's yes. a lot worse Stop. than that. Stop. I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. We opened this take can of worms. Take control here, Andy. That's, yeah. I'm, I'm going to take control right now. We're going to bring it back to hockey.